Hey everybody, welcome back to VideoMSO. Today we're going to a series on the Steam Deck, more importantly what emulators to play, how to set them up, and what games you should be playing when you get those emulators working. And today we're going to be talking about Supermodel, the Sega Model 3 emulator, because I absolutely love the Model 3 arcade board. I've got four of them in my closet with my four favorite games. I've been playing Supermodel for years, and it's just the era of Sega that I absolutely love. Before we get too far involved, it'll be a huge favor. Go down below, hit like, and subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well. But the Model 3 arcade board just has such a unique look, such vibrant colors, and such incredible 3D that's aged so well. It is outstanding to have it over here on the Steam Deck. And whether you're in handheld mode or docked, you're going to have an absolute blast. The controls are going to come over perfectly, but it does take some setting up, and it is a little bit strange. So I'm going to walk you through the entire process. That way you understand exactly how it works, and you'll have the same success with Supermodel that I did. Now, if you haven't used Supermodel yet, and if you just updated to Emudeck 2.2, go into the Manage Your Emulators tab in Emudeck and make sure Supermodel is installed. If it's not installed, you'll see an install button. If you're all set, then you'll see the screen you're seeing right here, but by default, it did not come down installed on my system. So my Windows PC, I'm gonna use an external USB device, and I'm just gonna make a folder and call it Model 3. This will just keep things more efficient and tidy when you get over to your Steam Deck. And I'm gonna go ahead and add all of the games I want to add to my Steam Deck as well. You will see here, I'm just adding a few for expedience and I have all of the library already added and you want to make sure every single model 3 game is still a zip file that is how the emulator is going to look for them and I do recommend that you just use supermodel on your PC go ahead and test the games you want to play to make sure they're working I can tell you right now if they're working on your Windows PC in supermodel they're going to work on your Steam Deck if they don't work on your Windows PC they're not going to work on your Steam Deck and if you want to copy over a bunch of files you don't want to wait around five six minutes just to find out nothing works just to go back and do it a second time so I can't recommend enough just check before you send the games over and you'll be perfectly fine now my tutorials are predicated on using a dock and a USB device I will leave the link to the dock below it's not an affiliate link I don't make any money it's just what I use but do be aware that you can just download the games directly on Steam OS desktop mode in the browser. I just much prefer using Windows, and that's how I always like doing things. So that's how I teach you guys how to do it, but you can do whatever you would like. Now over on the Steam Deck, just go ahead and pop in that USB device and you'll see a window come up. You're going to hit Mount and Open. And you will see the games here in the Model 3 folder that I have added just for this example. You're just going to go ahead and copy all of those over and I'll show you in just a moment where we're going to put them. It is easy but you do need to make sure they're in the right location or nothing is going to work whatsoever. Now that we have them all copied, we can just pop over to where we have Emudeck installed and put the ROMs in there. On my device, it's a micro SD card. On yours, it might be on the primary Steam Deck hard drive. And just to note on BIOS files, at least for Supermodel 3, you don't need one whatsoever. So you can basically ignore the entire BIOS folder. That's not how Supermodel 3 works. That's not how the Model 3 hardware works. So we are good without a BIOS. So if we pop into the ROMs folder, you're going to want to scroll down until you hit Model 3. And there is a little bit of a caveat on how you add these, which is pretty much different than any other game because you're going to see that all of the executables for Supermodel are going to be in this folder along with some other information here. If we open up systeminfo.txt you're going to see that supported file extension. Minor zips but you can see that 7-zip is supported as well so use whatever you like just make sure they are compressed. Supermodel is going to deal with all of it in the background. You're going to see platform for scalping is going to be arcade as well. But as we move in here, you're going to see I've already added a bunch of games. But all you're going to be doing is pasting in everything we copied off the USB device. You can do the entire library. You can do your one favorite game. Whatever works for you, just make sure you copy them to the Model 3 folder. There is no ROMs folder inside of this nested. This is where they should be sitting. And everything, if it looks like this, will work on your system. Just make sure that the files are good and you already tested them on Windows and you'll be totally fine. You're going to see some different executable files in here. Don't worry about these whatsoever. We're not really going to be using them. Now that we have the games added, we're going to go back into Emudeck and we're going to go over to Steam ROM Manager and launch that. Just make sure you read the little warning if this is your first time using it because it does change your controllers ever so slightly for a moment and that does seem to trip people up. Now by default, all of the parsers should be on here, but you can scroll down and look at all of the different parsers that are going to look at all of the different folders, ingest the games, add them to your library, and give you artwork as well. 
from there hit preview and hit parse and then you're going to see depending on how many games that you have it takes a minute or two but all of the artwork is going to very quickly appear and we have that pull down tab for sega model 3 right to the right of category unfortunately right now because of the file names a lot of these games are just going to show up with the wrong title name and the wrong title art some of them work some of them don't so you're going to have to go in and change a lot of the artwork in the background or hopefully maybe soon ME Deck update some of the scraping with the correct names. You're going to see Mario and Donkey Kong 2, definitely not a Steam Deck game that's going to run on Supermodel whatsoever. Go ahead and hit save to Steam when you are happy with everything you have, and it's going to take a moment or two, but that'll incorporate all of the games with all of the artwork into your library. From there, you can just close out of ROM Manager, close out of ME Deck, and hit return to gaming mode. And you'll see here now, if we go into the library, we're going to have a new heading in the library for the Model 3. But interestingly, it's not under M. I thought it wasn't there the first time I tested it. You have to scroll down until you get to the S's, and then you're going to see Sega Model 3 Supermodel. So from here, you can just scroll around and pick whichever game you want to play. Now, Emudeck doesn't list any hotkeys for the emulator whatsoever. It's not how it works. It is command line based, and there is the Supermodel 3 UI, but a lot of the different articulatable changes are going to be done in an ion I file at least as far as I can tell like I said this is still the first day it might get streamlined in the future but right now it works and it does exactly what it says on the side of the box and seeing something like Harley Davidson LA Riders here is just so much fun it's incredible to watch this run on the Steam Deck and don't get me wrong I've been playing Model 3 arcade games for 20 years I've been collecting them for about five and I've been using Supermodel for probably five as well but seeing them run on the Steam Deck it's just so impressive and all of the controls are going to instantly here. The right trigger is going to be your gas, the analog stick on the left is going to be your analog, and pretty much every other button is going to make contextual sense, but I will show you where to find out what button does what in just a moment. And the best part is the sound quality on the emulator is excellent as well. Listen for 30 seconds, I'll be back with more tips to help you play the games. Definitely sounds good to my ear and it should sound good on your Steam Deck as well. Now as far as the controls are concerned, the D-pad is pretty much going to be how you move through the different camera options in Harley Davidson and LA Riders and it's going to be how you move through pretty much all of the camera options in any racing game. So moving over to Scud Race, again just one of Sega's best arcade racing games ever made. Watching it run on the Steam Deck is just so great and obviously this is a direct capture from my deck. The frame rate is good, the graphics are great, I cannot find anything to complain about with the implementation right now in Emu Deck whatsoever, and this is still week one of this even working, and that's just so much fun to see. These are some of Sega's best games of all time, and having them on the Steam Deck is just a ton of fun. Something like Daytona 2 here, it is an absolute blast. I do have an original arcade board for this, but honestly I usually use Supermodel because it allows me to do some enhancements to the game that the actual arcade board doesn't, and having a normal control is so much better than trying to set up a wheel and pedal set in my studio. But if you do all of this, you're going to be playing the games. And I think you may even notice by now, this isn't 4x3, it is not in widescreen. Let's talk about that for just a moment. If you go into the folder where Emudeck lives and where the Model 3 games live, you're going to see an INI file right here. This is where all the articulatable changes that you can make to the emulator are. And do read this little overview right here because some of the changes you're going to be making are going to be global or adhering to all of the games, and some of the changes you make are going to be game to game dependent. Now, if you want widescreen, what I thought you would do is just change widescreen equals zero to widescreen equals one. Zero means off, one means on for Supermodel in Parlance. So you'll see here that I added it to one, and I'm going to go over to wide background, which would allow all of the sky boxes and other backgrounds to be widescreen as well. And I also made that a one. And that should basically be making everything widescreen as far as how I set up Supermodel on my PC. When you make those changes, just go ahead and hit save, and you're going to see there's a lot of controller options. Really wouldn't touch any of those whatsoever. But at least right now, I cannot yet figure out how to make Supermodel widescreen on the Steam Deck. I asked a few other people that were testing it the same time I was, and no one was 
able to get that as well. Now on something like a light gun game, LA Machine Guns here, the cursor is going to be underneath your thumb on the trackpad, but I think the actual sensitivity is too low by the default. So what I recommend coming in and doing is going into the right trackpad sensitivity option and I upped it to 175%. I felt like I was moving my thumb way too much and not getting far enough on the screen at 100%. You can totally dial in whatever you would like, but honestly my recommendation is to go to 175 for these games it's just going to make them feel that much better. And that is the nice thing. All of the default configurations on Supermodel with Emudeck are going to intelligently map the controls where you want them to be. You can go in the INI &I settings and change the different inputs. You can switch trackpads if you wanted, but honestly, 99 out of 100 pre-configured control options for Supermodel are going to just adhere to where you would expect them to be on your Steam Decks. When you're holding it, of course, the right analog trigger would be the gas, and of course, the left analog stick would be your steering wheel. That is how everything is set up in Emudex. So just push the button you think should do something and pretty much guaranteed it's going to do exactly the thing you want it to do. And that is awesome. If I figure out the widescreen thing, I'll probably update this video in the future. But honestly, this is still the first week of Supermodel Model 3 emulation being in the Steam Deck and Emu Deck. So it's one of those things we're going to be learning a lot as time goes on. And I understand that you could get Model 3 games to emulate before this. I did it in the background because I was going to do a tutorial, but it was a very cumbersome process. And I just didn't think many people would have good luck with it. So I waited this entire time until Supermodel 3 emulation was in Emu Deck, and now you can play it today. If you run into any trouble, leave me a comment down below and I'll try to help you out the best I can. If you have any questions, leave them down below as well and I'll try my best to answer each and every one of them. But stop watching this video, go grab your Steam Deck and play Model 3. Bye bye